thank you for watching Name and Occupation in Depth. We come to you every single week. Now don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the content. Well, this is exciting. We're going to have our first guest, Olivia. Yeah, I'm going to tell her to come on she's in. From, she's from France. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, good, good. Hey, you. how's it going? Thanks for coming good, on the you. show. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fun fact, you're our first official guest on the show. Really? Yeah. Well, yes. I'm congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it I'm was honored. super impromptu. Welcome. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little dressed. bit about yourself? Yeah. Well, uh, my name is Olivia. I come uh, from France, uh, a small city called Yair. Um, it's in the southeast, uh, about an hour and a half, two hours from Italy. Um, oh. There's a, a lot of palm trees in my city. That's the the name is Yair les Palmiers, which means the palm trees. So you're and, near uh, Nice, Nice and yes. Cannes. I'm uh, in between Marseille and Nice, literally oh, halfway. Nice. Good. Gorgeous. Gorgeous place. Oh. And what brings you here? Uh, at first, there was just bears. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so bears? I'm, yeah, bears. I'm uh, working in uh, forestry and wildlife management. So um, hey. you guys uh, in Canada have a lot of bears that we don't in France, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, oh. so I moved here 2017, so about like four or five years ago. Okay, so you've been in Canada for a while now. Yeah, yeah, I just turned 18 cool. and I moved to Canada and uh, went to Good school. For you. And, uh, yeah, now I'm working, so not leaving That's... anymore. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and, be, and you found some bears, didn't you, Olivia? I found some bears a lot just this summer. I've seen at least a good like 40, 50 bears. Wow. So, what kind? Are you scared? Are they dangerous? Tell us everything. So, in Ontario, you just have black bears, really. Um, so black bears are not really dangerous unless there's a mom with cubs. I've been charged mm -hmm. only once, and that's because I didn't see her and the cubs were in the tree. Yeah, it's usually a surprise, right? Exactly. But usually if you back off, they just leave you be. They don't want to fight. Yeah. They're they're really lazy animals. So they <laughs> like to just make them understand that you didn't intend to scare them. Well, they mm. just leave you be stay calm too right? exactly. so, so is it to scare them or is it to lie dead what do you do and what you should you not do if you get with those bears so you, you don't know? lie dead you don't lie dead because they they know they, you know, they can yeah. feel your heartbeat they, they know you're alive they, they can speak breathing they, they know sense um, of fear exactly you don't try to scare them because they won't be scared of you <laughs> and uh well you don't run away because they run faster than you they climb tree faster than you then they swim faster than you so you just back away don't don't look at them directly in the eyes because for them that's like a confrontation and attack so you just ah. back away slowly and just basically look at their feet that's the so you can kind of see what they're doing without say, like looking at them directly but if you just slowly, once at a time, just back off and you'll see they, they'll calm down. And if ever they nice. attack, just grab a stone or a, a tree branch or something to defend yourself. We mainly focus on black bears because that's pretty much the only once one around. we can find here. But we, we still learn about every type of bears. Um, obviously, the, the polar bear is the one you want to be uh, careful about. Uh, grizzlies are... Right. Kind of like big black bears, they will eat more fish, I guess, and meat than black bears that I really almost eat only fruits, especially in the summertime. Um, they will attack a bit more than black bears, but definitely compared to polar bears, that's, that's nothing really. Right. Yes. Polar bears are only carnivores. They only eat like um, fish, fish and seals and stuff like this. Uh, grizzlies eat uh, fish but they can eat like rodents and uh, some fruits also black bears mostly eat fruits like uh, blueberries and stuff that's their favorite food so it's they terrible. will depending on the bear yeah it depends mm -hmm. on depends on the bear like panda bears there are still bears right but they eat only bamboo so it's really yeah. <laughs> they're really <Yeah>. different <laughs> <laughs> i love pandas 
I work for uh, Collège Boreal, which was oh, the okay. school I went to. Right, uh, right. I'm a research and biodiversity technologist. So wow. I work so in a you? greenhouse, a fish hatchery. So I work in forestry, agriculture, and uh, fish uh, management. Okay. COVID, so. Subbury. I haven't been there in like, God, 25 years. Yeah, it's changing. Has it changed? A lot. Has it changed? Yes. It's changing all the time. I heard it's like it was booming because a lot of businesses moved there. Yes. Right? I moved just they, they for a year. Cheap I moved, taxes and. Yeah, I moved for a year to Ottawa and I came back just a year after. And it's crazy. Like it changed so much. Uh huh. So, how it's, different is it from uh, Nice to uh, Subbury? <laughs> really different. <laughs> really, really different. Like uh, yeah. it's cold here. It's like minus, I yeah. think, minus 25 right now. Yeah. Here in Nice, right. around 15, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. With palm trees. <laughs> yeah, palm trees are, yeah, that's, that's yeah, different. Really. Uh, we have the beach right next to my place, and that's just forests and lakes here. <laughs> now, there's a big francophone uh, uh, community in Sudbury still, I'm assuming, right? Yes, it's uh, extremely different. Uh, let's say just at first, when I first moved to Canada, I didn't speak a word of English, but that was easier for me to learn English than talking to like in French to the French people here because <laughs> the accent and the words were so well, yeah. different that was basically new language yeah. when you go up north all the time it's a it's a strong accent yes. so. yeah. yeah especially in the yeah. In yeah. the east coast is that yes that that's like, even we to... have a hard time with that like French people do we have do you see similarities there is definitely similarities I would say it would be more like a an old old French, I would say. Yeah. Like even yeah, like just the name. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, here, yeah. there's a lot of Jean-Jacques and stuff like this that are like 20 years old. While in France, all those people with double like um, double names, it's yeah. all like the grandparents and everything. Mm -hmm. Here I would say people are, are way more interested into being like outside, doing outdoors activities. Mm -hmm. While in France is just going out like to the cinema restaurants yeah. and it's more inside and beach, right? It's the same yeah. here. I, I'm in Holland, and it's you know, yeah, it's you know very similar. Yeah, here it's my 35, and everyone is still outside doing skidoo. Well, in France, <laughs> nobody you would not see a human being outside. We it's would true. not. Be. No, 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 no. I love like the school bus, the yellow school bus. That's for me. It's like a, a movie. The yellow yeah. lion. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Yeah. In my place, there is no snow ever, so. Just having a Christmas with snow outside, that's that's really cool. Um, I like the bilingual side too. Like in Ontario, it's really nice to have people just in the same sentence putting some French and English words. That that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, everything is way bigger. The roads, the trucks, the cars, mm -hmm. the food, everything is, <laughs> is more <laughs> for <laughs> everything. <Yeah. laughs> we have a lot of turkey, a bit more than the uh, okay. pork and stuff like this. Well, it depends on where you are in France too. Like right. in the north of France, they do have like a lot of beef stuff, and while in the south, it's gonna be more fish and chicken, right? Like light, lighter yeah. stuff. Yeah, I got a question. Uh, what meals? What meals stick out when uh, when you were growing up in France? Like, what were the the main things there that you would have for supper or lunch or whatever? Well, I guess for me it's a bit different because I'm I'm vegan, but um, in my place specifically, we eat like salads. It's so hot. You don't want to eat something that's hot as well. So we right, mainly right. eat like cold stuff, like ice cream, smoothies, and all that stuff. Well, here, okay. Okay. yeah, here's more like poutines and uh, heavy stuff. <laughs> poutine. Oh, yeah. Do you like Salad, poutine? Babe. Do you like poutine? Oh, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good invention. Okay. That's the thing I miss the most from hold Canada. Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I thought you said you're vegan. Yeah, I do. I do a vegan one. So I have I'm, some, uh, I'm okay with this. I do a vegan <laughs> cheese. So I, you do the just uh, vegan gravy. So it's mushroom gravy usually, and oh, there's yeah. just like uh, plenty of vegan cheese that you can find. So usually with cashew milk, milk <laughs> that you do that. Okay. And, uh, but what about yeah. curds? You can't. Yeah, it's it's exactly like this. I have some in my fridge. It's just really? like a, some soy oh. and stuff like this. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Food. It depends on which kind of cheese we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Like for uh, go get the one in the fridge. I want to see that. Yeah, I'll go grab. <laughs> well, because we heard that there was like fifteen hundred types of cheeses in France, 
So um, yeah, let's let's see let's what you see got going on at. over there. Yeah. So there's the provolone style. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This wow. one is with coconut oil. I have some uh, vegan uh, feta cheese. Wow. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure is also with coconut. I think you just blew our mind with all these vegan cheese. We're gonna have right? to do that next time for it's sure. Not. It's actually really good. Right. Uh, really? Yeah, this one is with soy. It's uh, like Parmesan style. Oh, Parmesan. Yeah, mm. I have like uh, the mozzarella one. Wow. And I have the, the curry. So like, so, like what French meal that you're like, oh man, this is awesome. Uh, anything like stick out besides poutine? Um, and and beaver tail. Yeah. Beaver tail is amazing. Oh, that's that's really good. My uh, wife, I brought my wife over at the Canada one year, and she's like, "I'm not having a beaver tail." She was all freaked out. She wouldn't try it. Uh, at first, I thought that was an actual like yeah, beaver tail, a... and I'm like, "Oh, that's that's so sad to just kill beaver and just grab his tail to do them." <laughs> that's a yeah. first, but... We're cruel. What surprised What surprised you the most about uh, moving to Canada? Like, what wasn't in the brochure that shocked you, or um, compared to France, except for the bears. <laughs> like the bears. <laughs> well, I felt like there would be you. Well, we expect to see a lot of wildlife and snow, but definitely not as much. And you know, there's always like <laughs> yeah. people saying uh, stuff about people from a certain country. And for Canada, everyone like that's not from here is like, oh well, Canadian people are really friendly. Well, it's actually true. So it sometimes, true. sometimes you expect that it's gonna be like not really true, but. I feel like every everything we hear about Canada outside of it feels pretty accurate for most of That's most nice of it. Yeah. 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 No, and uh, nice like uh, in Canada, we I don't know. It's like everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what background, but in Europe, it's like a little not so. Yeah, fun. in Europe, I feel like you have more like groups that you have. Yeah. To well, here mm. there's groups of friends that you you see them and you're like, wow, why are you even friends? Like they have the nothing cultures in mix better yeah. in North America than in Europe. Yeah. I have a oh. question for Olivia. Um, what, like we were talking, I don't know if you're watching, we we're talking about different places in Paris, like Versailles and uh, Louvre and everything like that. Have you visited around, and what did you like to visit? So I have visited Paris two three times. Honestly, I don't like it really, but it's it's so like people have such a high expectation of it because it's Paris, you know, like everybody hears about it in movies and everything. I feel like France other than Paris is so beautiful, it's so worth it. And anywhere you go is totally different. Like down south or like on the, the west coast, like the Bretagne is really beautiful too. Up north yeah. is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone wants to go to Paris when I go to France, sure. avoid Paris and go visit all around and you'll see some more beautiful the better places. places. Absolutely. Yeah, better places and it's going to be way cheaper too. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's I like, feel like, yeah, everybody knows enough about Paris. Like, or if you go, just right. go like one or two days and that's it. Don't spend like three weeks um, in Paris. Yeah, yeah, people from Paris don't like people from other like other part of France, but everyone around that's not from Paris doesn't like the Parisians. So it's like a little war. <laughs> well, three of us on top went to Paris together. We had a blast. They were super nice to us. I don't remember even having it like they were back. Well, that was 22 years ago, I suppose. And you were yeah. Canadian. And we're Canadian and we spoke of French, but I don't and know. And we were I, super still. friendly. And yeah. See, that's just the Canadian <laughs> part. Everybody likes Canadian. Like we it's don't. True. Nobody cannot like Canadian people. <laughs> you see, uh, yeah, the little uh, thing, the more on south the, point. On the, the more yeah. south point with the islands. With the oh, island okay, part. that's where you're from. Oh, the, I see. Um, I can yeah. see the islands from my bedroom yeah. in my parents' house. Wow. Wow. Like Toulon or just right down just here? On the right of Toulon. So, yeah, down that's the, the southest point. That's, that's the border that's, right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, for me personally that would be my place because I like to be outside and there's a lot to do outside and the sea and the, the sea the ocean. yeah the sea is nice the there's all the, the sharks and fish in there and uh, you can just go scuba diving when you want and it's, that that's pretty cool yeah. sold I mean unless uh, Canada kicks me out I would like to stay here 
<laughs> really? Well, yeah, you're always welcome. Yes. You're always welcome. <laughs> let's awesome. uh, let's hope with immigration, but <laughs> that's ah, what I you'll be well. all right. Excellent. <laughs> If not, bring wow. a bear to the immigration office and then they'll make sure that you stay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, who knows? You might meet Mr. Olivia and, uh, you know, the rest is history, right? You never know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> even, even I, have, uh, I have eight tattoos and all of them are Canadian. I have a, a bear, a moose, I have a, a snowy owl, I get just a maple leaf. All my tattoos cool. basically are Canadian. So I'm like, I'm just going to show up to the immigration <laughs> office and just... Look at me. I'm Canadian. <laughs> yeah, look at her clothes right. she's wearing. Yeah. Totally Canadian. Yeah. Seriously, I got a quick I got a quick exercise for you. City or countryside? Countryside. Club or concert? Uh concert. South or North France? South. <laughs> Paris or Nice? Oh Nice. <laughs> Netherlands or Belgium? Hmm. Oh, Belgium is cool. really nice. They have good chocolate, so Belgium. <laughs> okay. Montreal or Quebec City? Quebec. Quebec City. Canada or the United States? Canada. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is like first thing that comes to mind. Uh, European Union. Euro. <laughs> uh, UK. Beer. Beer. You drink oh. a lot of beer. <laughs> Marseille. 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 Uh, L'OM is the, the soccer team. L'OM. Oh, okay. Uh, Macron. President. <laughs> President. Uh, Celine Dion. Good singer. <laughs> Hockey. Cold. <laughs> Violent. <laughs> yeah. Frogs. Frogs? cute <laughs> snails ew <laughs> yum music uh, yep. music i don't know all the time just like yeah school nice cool your passion passion bears music your paradise here awesome that's it well, cool. Thank you so much. This is great. That's wicked. Yeah, man. Great stuff. <laughs> thank you so much, really? Olivia. It was thank so you great very, having very you. No problem. Many times. You really enlightened us. And thank you for sharing your time with us so much. My pleasure.